On Rosh Hashanah, the minic of Kla Yisrael is to blow a hundred kolos, a hundred sounds of shofar. The question is, where does this come from? The early source, the Yerushalmi, tells us that the mother of Sisra, Aim Sisra, one of the non-Jewish generals in Sefer Shoftim, she cried a hundred kolos when her son didn't come back after the war. So therefore, we blow a hundred kolos on Rosh Hashanah. And the question is obvious. Aim Sisra on Rosh Hashanah, one of the holiest days of the year, and Dafka, we remember this mother of this, this enemy general, so the Farshim explain that look at the Pesukim and Sefer Shoftim. She was waiting at the window. She was waiting for her son to come home. And the Pazik tells us, She's looking, where's my son? Why isn't he coming home yet? And her friends say, don't worry, he's gathering spoils. He's doing this, he's doing that. He'll be home soon. And as the sun sets and reality sets in, she realizes, her son's not coming home. She cries out and she screams because reality sets in when all the excuses, when all the other explanations are no longer there and just when we feel the intensity of the reality. Rosh Hashanah is a day about breaking down the mechitzos, breaking down the other explanations, breaking down the defenses and the excuses that we have and just seeing reality face to face. And that's an intense feeling. And that's Aim Sisra's connection to Rosh Hashanah. And it's our job to try to see the reality, the potential that each of us have in Torah, in Avodah, and Gemilas Chasadim, and I might add one, in our connection to Eretz Yisrael and Yishev Eretz Yisrael. Rev Cook in 1933 was giving a drasha in Yerushalayim on Rosh Hashanah morning, and he described al pi there are three types of shofaros, three shofars one could use. The greatest shofar, the shofar gadol, he called the shofar shel ayil, the shofar of a ram. So we know the greatest, the connection to Akedah, that's Yitzchak. The second level is also kosher, shofar of any animal, chutz mi para. You could also make a bracha on that, uh, that shofar. But then Rav Cook explained, if I don't have any shofar kosher, there's none in the whole city, I could use a shofar puzzle, but can't make a bracha on it. Says Rav Cook, said Rav Cook, 1933, that Rosh Hashanah, as we know what was going on in 1933, there are three shofaros shel geula. Number one is to kab shofar gadol, the geula, the Jew that feels the geula, the connection to Eretz Yisrael, and he comes because he feels the pull, he feels the magnetic spiritual force of Eretz Yisrael calling, of every breath of Eretz Yisrael doing wonders for his neshama. That's why he wants to come, to come and show for Gadol. That's the greatest shofar, the greatest level of Geula. But says Rav Kook, there are others. There is another kosher shofar, not the highest level, but the shofar of what he called those who come for national reasons. Those who come because they want to bring up their children in a Jewish environment. They feel comfortable. This is the place where our ancestors live. So I'm going to come too. That's also a kosher shofar. It's not the greatest, but you make a bracha on it. And then as Rav Kook started crying and he could barely get the words out, you have the third level of shofar, said Rav Kook, when Jews don't come unless we're thrown out, unless we're pushed out, unless we're forced to come back to the place which will always accept them. Yes, it's a shofar of geula, but it's a shofar of milchama, a shofar of difficulty of pain, and therefore we don't make a bracha on it. We dive in every day, teka b'shofar gadol l'cheiruseinu, Please allow all Jews to be inspired to come back to Eretz Yisrael through the Shofar Gadol because of the Kedusha Vitara in which they feel the pull and not the push. Let all Jews see the reality, this Rosh Hashanah, of what Eretz Yisrael should mean to them and how Eretz Yisrael should be at the center of their existence in all areas of their Avodah Hashem. Let this year be truly a year of Kibbutz Galios of the highest order, of the highest caliber, and let the shofar gadol reign in all Jews from all over the world to come back to the palace, the Beis Hamikdash b'mehir of Yamenu.